trust everybody has had a good Christmas. I don't know about you, but ours was just nice, chilled, spent it with the family, and Christmas Day we spent just Catherine and I, which was bliss. It was just a good old fashioned chill out, Christmas chill out. This video is just going to be a wrap up of the year. We're all absolutely knackered, I'm certainly knackered, full of a cold. <clears throat> so it would be great to just wrap up the year um, and just close it on the high really. Bonkers year for us. I'm still getting used to doing this in public. How are you doing, you alright? I think for Catherine and I, it's been obviously a year of many, many ups. I don't think we've had any downs. Um, been an absolutely fantastic year. We started the year off, which you wouldn't know because I've only been doing this channel for like a, a month, six weeks. Um, but we started the year off in Lapland, where we did a husky sledging trek. It was absolutely insane. We then made the decision that we wanted to start a family, but we didn't want to do that until we'd moved back home. Now, as far as everybody's concerned, where we live now is home, always has been. However, beginning of the year, right up until May, we was living in the Lake District, for those of you who don't know where the Lake District is, or what the Lake District is, the Lake District is the mountainous area, if you like, of England. We'd lived there for about, for about what, six years? Don't know, we've been there a long time. Many ups and downs, but we decided that we didn't want to start our family there, we wanted to be back here in Broadbottom. Sold up, moved back. Yeah, it was probably one of the, I don't know, the, it was right, it was the right thing to do and it was at the right time. Then we went on holiday <laughs> again to Portugal, to the Douro Valley, which was absolutely stunning. Didn't make any video there, I don't think. If I did, I will run it now. but I'm pretty sure I didn't. My regret would be, my only regret would be that I didn't start doing this earlier because I would have some really cool content right now. Lots of things have gone on since, but right now, start 2018 by getting one or two jobs done around the house. So, I don't know, expect one or two funny updates coming up soon. down from my phone. I suppose one of the biggest highlights without a shadow of a doubt for the year was finding out we was pregnant and I didn't think it could get any better than that other than yesterday I heard our child's heartbeat. I've heard it before but I don't know yes you know yesterday was just different you know it was it was like properly, properly real, you know. Really strong, which is brilliant. Um, I was able to record this as well because we had a much nicer midwife who was quite happy for me to record the audio. Um, so yeah, I've always got that now and that was just absolutely mind-blowing. Both Catherine and I are a little bit older. It means we get to have more scans, which is a bit of a bonus because <laughs> You know, not many people get the, the opportunities to have as many scans as we do because of her or our age. That in itself is awesome, which means we get to, you know, be a part of it for much longer, get to see more. That is just, you know, awesome. <laughs> if I'm honest, it's awesome. I'm going to go get something to eat and some milk from Limefield and... I'm going to wrap this up probably back at home, um, so yeah. <laughs> I'm 
So, <laughs> it's so funny, we, we, we got an Amazon dot, and for some godforsaken reason, it just does not listen to Catherine. It might be because she speaks to him like some sort of colonial slave, I don't know, but she just doesn't listen to a word that she says, and it's hilarious. And I'll go, Alexa, turn off dining room light, and it'll just go like that. It's hilarious, <laughs> I won't lie. Um, <laughs> So, there is absolutely nothing left. <laughs> so, once again, there's not much left for me to say other than thank you very much for a great 2017. Thank you for being a part of the journey. Um, let's see what happens in 2018. Hope you had a great Christmas and have a great new year and I will speak to you soon.